so see after this 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 important thing there is very 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 one more important thing is there okay to tell that what i do is i will do something here okay uh, just see why i created one task okay and i'm also creating one more task here just observe it more okay i will show you the clear uh, clearly i will show you just observe it and i can explain you one more time okay so just a uh, first one is service test task and another one is app deployment task like something like developer task okay there are two tasks one is service test task maybe they do something and here there is another task where it is moving to application development team okay so same thing something 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 there is application development team also there no yeah okay and uh, development activities okay, i'm uh, see ma uh, Ours is a group request, but I'm for for the concept covering. I'm co I am just doing these things and all. Okay, if if we frankly speaking, this particular activity is relevant for our flow, but I'm just adding to show something. Okay, don't confuse. Okay, so let's consider like we have two parallel tasks. Okay, two tasks. Okay, one approved. Okay, two tasks needs to be created. It's not one after other, ma. Okay, it's parallel task. Okay. Parallel task means both will bo both will create at the same time, parallelly. Right. So once this is done, it generate two tasks now. Okay, and then it is ending here. Okay. This point is clear now, everyone. Till this point clear. Please confirm. Yes. Yeah. Yes, sir. So let's now generate one record. So just uh, walk through the flow to observe the things. Okay, one important thing we need to observe will come, but uh, let's uh, let it completed. There are no approvals now, so it creates two tasks. 15 seconds. We need this 15 seconds, huh? Somewhere. Give you time. It is eating our time. Okay, so now just create it now. So let's see this approved. Fine, just refresh once. So it creates two tasks. Okay, now see the workflow also. So this is two tasks are one is group administration task, one is development task. Okay, this is service task one. Where is this? Where is the group? Where is the group? Where is the group assignment group? So one is created to assignment group. This is first task and this is also second task. But there is no first and second. These two are parallel tasks. So both created at the same time. Okay, 29:19. Okay, 29:19. If you see the time, na started time. Okay, 8:29:19. Okay, 8:29:19. 19. Right? You see it. Na? Both are created at the same second. These are parallel tasks. Okay. Now, from now, observe it. Okay, from now, please observe. So. Service desk people, okay, they took this ticket and they, they did some work and they closed the ticket. This first one is getting closed. Okay. Second one, maybe someone took it, but it's not yet closed. Okay. So one task is closed. Okay. One task is closed. Now go here. Refresh it. Okay. See what happened is this is closed. As per the definition, it moved to this one. As per the definition, it moved to end. This is absolutely right. But there was another open task at the same time. What happened to that other task? As the RATM is ended, the open task become cancelled. Okay, that means the flow is not correct. Right? So this is wrong. These people, they are working on something, but the, RA, the RATM is closed because of the wrong flow definition. 
So this is also cancelled. You observe this point, my everyone? Yes, sir. Yes. Others? Yes, sir. Everyone? Yes. Okay. yes. Okay. So this is the problem with the parallel tasks, parallel activities, not only tasks. Okay. If you have two approvals, parallel approvals, you, you, have, you created two approvals parallelly, one for group, one for some security group. Both are triggered. Okay. Now anyone can approve and uh, approval will be completed once everyone approves this one and that one. Okay. But you didn't, you just kept like a parallel, same like how we did it here. Okay. If one passed, now it will go to this one, but remaining is not yet passed. So it will move to the next one. It will be created a task, but still these people are not approved. So anything like parallel, parallel activities, when you are doing parallel activities, okay, keep it in mind that you need to use two activities. One is branch and another one is join. Okay. So, <coughs> okay. So now for this one, I will use the branch and join here. See here. Okay. So before that, I will keep branch. Actually branch is optional, but best practice, just keep it. Nothing. You need to write anything. It's just branch. You don't need to define anything also. You can write start also. Anything is fine. Okay. I just started branch. Okay, and even just kept keep one thing called join. Okay, join. Right. So using these two activities, branch and join, connect the flow accordingly. So branch is starting point. Okay. So after this one, you have parallel tasks. So before parallel tasks, start with a branch. So you are branching it. It's same like tree branching. Okay. And then you have this respective task. So this one, this one. Okay. You can keep another task also, three tasks also, third task also, you can keep it. Okay. And now the end you connect to join. Okay. So sometimes let's see. Okay. This you have two activities here. For now, for now, I'll just keep two activities to the next one, okay, as per uh, the simple one, but complete, incomplete, what does it mean? Is like one is successfully completed, but one is not completed successfully, okay, that time it returns incomplete, okay, that time if you want to do some other job, for if it is completed successfully, do one thing, if it is completed unsuccessfully, one, okay, maybe you do something else, that time you can use these two hives, but for now, I'm just passing it, okay to save our time so this is branch this is join okay whenever you use branch you also need to use join the parallel tasks you keep it in the middle okay so this part is clear man. this configuration part is clear before we see the practical part yes sir everyone please confirm ma. yes sir. yes yes sir. okay so let's go back and then raise a request So now submitting it, that 15 seconds also we removed now, so we don't need to wait for tasks. Good. Okay, so now good, we have two tasks, two catalog tasks, okay. See the flow now, okay, it approved here, branch started, this is started at 36.22, okay, this is also started at 36.22, okay, good. Okay, same like how we seen earlier parallel tasks. Okay, now the service desk people took the ticket. Okay, and then they fulfilled it. So this one is completed. Okay, so the respective person who resolved it will change the status to closed, and they will save it. So one is closed. Okay, one is closed. Another one is still open. Okay, let it be. So this is this is fine here. Now go here. How the flow takes it now is. Okay, it will clearly states that. This is ended, move to the next one. Okay, 
but there is one more activity it's still running till it completes this join will still run okay let's take this people uh, taken 30 days to complete it till 30 days the join will still wait because by the definition of join there are two activities connected one activity is completed the second activity is not yet completed so it will not take to next activity that is the uh, rule of join that is the use use of join you are getting sir. it yes you are getting it yes sir yeah, yeah. now yeah, we use a parallel means so we yes when we have a parallel kind of jobs then we, we better we need to use <laughs> branch and join join okay so now see we know now it is waiting so if you wait for one day also it will still wait now okay after maybe three days these people also completed the job and then they are also closing the task okay so they are closing it either complete incomplete skipped whatever it is but they are closing it okay when this is also closed now go here and then see okay see the join now Okay, so this is closed. This is closed. So two two lines which are connected to join is completed. Then it took as complete. Maybe complete and complete both are same for us. Okay, now it is moving to the next activity. Next activity. So totally the R item is completely completed. Right. So this is the use of branch and join. Okay, this is such an important interview question. Also. such an important real time act, important activity also okay be careful when we have the kind of parallel activities okay you need to pro whenever you are creating workflow you have to properly test it ma don't rush you have to check every value everything before you hand over to test okay this is one simple one one statement keep it in mind okay and please practice it practice it and when you do in real time also workflows you have to 100% sure that you tested completely before you move to test because small small things okay for one scenario it works but other scenario it will break okay sometimes if you don't connect properly the workflow will become orphan it will not move further okay if i keep one if condition here okay if this one is true then connect to the next one i didn't mention else so if it will only pass to next one if it is true as i didn't mention else okay then else condition it will wait and it will wait it will not proceed that's it fasak so workflows are very sensitive okay please do very carefully and also please practice carefully 